the question is now we have a question what can you control with the document type in purchasing okay there are the three correct answers for this question so with the document type you have a document type nb uh, for the standard purchasing right and you can also create your custom document type what kind of things you can control with the document type whether the linkage to material groups uh, number ranges whether you can control uh, you can allowed account assignment categories what are the account assignment categories which would be allowed you can control the field selection or you can control the allowed item categories uh, no 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 don't show the answer <laughs> answers on the chat window <laughs> answers on the chat window oh i i got multiple answers b c e and b d e b c e also i got it b d e also i got it number ranges field selections and allowed item categories let's go uh, let me see if i have something in my uh, ts452 master mind map and zoom it out yeah. i think it should be in the configurations let me minimize this PO document type so what does it controls PO document type okay so PO document type so let's go through the screenshot let's go to the sap screen so where is the configuration the configuration is uh, you can see it here under the purchasing under the purchasing under the purchase order you have a defined document types so where basically you can go and check what is the settings and you would be also be able to copy and define new document types and these are the document types right so in this document type you can check it here what kind of things are there so you can check it here uh, and again the, these are the document types and again the document types what we maintain in in the video also in the configuration video this topic has been covered in detail the document types and the uh, configuration control through the document type so number range what number range for internal what number range for external we need to use it okay and field selection parameter is also there what field selections we would we would be able to do it okay so you, the fields with this field selection you can it can control that which fields are in this purchase order when you are creating which fields would be mandatory okay or which fields would be optional so if the interview they ask you that in a, and this configuration is same for all the document types i'm explaining for purchase order but same for all the document types the interviewer can ask that in a particular creation of a purchase order purchase requisition you can you want to control that a particular field should be mandatory okay or you want to you don't want to display some particular fields how you can control so you can control by creating your specific document type under this document type we have a field selection you can create a field selection and with this field selection you can control which field should be optional and which field should be mandatory and display that control you can do it it has been shown into the detailed training videos also what number range it would be created so if you are creating with this document type or if you are creating with this document type what should be the purchase order number whether it should be starting from 45000 or you want to start with 99 something some specific po you want to start with a specific number range right so there basically you can put it that what should be the number range again this you would be defining your number ranges that 45 is what 41 is what you would be defining in your number range configuration okay and here is it's also defined here allowed item categories so what item categories can be used that also you can mention that which item categories would be used with this document type which would be available with this one so that also has been given here even the link purchase requisition document type that uh, uh, that configuration is also there okay from which purchase requisitions uh, this kind of purchase order would be created that also you can control okay so this is the things which can be controlled with the document type now let's go back to our question
So in, oh, there is a question. Linkage to material groups. Have you find any linkage to material groups are there? No, right? Number ranges, yes, it's there. Allowed account assignment categories. So now, you know, don't answer it in hurry. There's a different in account assignment category and there is different in item category. Account assignment category controls the uh, uh, assignment of the accounts. Item category controls the process. For the different different process, different item categories there. So item category is uh, from the procurement process side and the account assignment category is from the finance side, the determination of the accounts, that which account it need to go and hit, whether the cost center should be there or account assignment should be there. Okay, so that is, so allowed account assignment categories are not there it has a allow item categories item categories so somebody has answered it in a little bit of hurry rather than uh, you know that's what happened when you're overconfident and try to answer a little bit in hurry you can make mistake and field selection also we have seen so the answer is b d and e is the right answer here 